you guys were exploring more of this uh, feral world and had come across a village of clones of Captain Red Eye and Mattias Thrain. And we also found out that uh, Captain Thrain is also a clone. Yes. Uh-huh. A clone of a clone of a clone. Mm-hmm. So, what do we do with all this cloning technology? The idea that there may be multiple thrains running around is enough to still move with existential dread. Uh. This just wants to blow the whole place to hell. <laughs> mm. This is very much some heretical bullshit, though. That it is, which is why we will go kill the real Red Eye and uh, never mention it ever again. Uh. Not the first one, plus... I mean, will anyone even bring up the point that we technically killed an Inquisitor and if any of that comes back to any of them, we kind of live on the run either way. Well, technically I killed the Inquisitor. Uh, ah, don't yeah, worry, Arch Militant. We share the burden. Be like, oh no, we found a second Jace now. <laughs> it would be quite amusing to run into a second version of me, given that I think it's only me that can kill me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Anyway, that is, it just looks at the large cloning works and technologies. <sighs> but there's uh, certainly tech to be found here. I'm not sure how. If it's worth the risk, I suppose. Mm. Well, from basic logic, I can think of one use for clones, but I just give a help slash luck. I really don't know much about technology or how risky it could be. The funny thing in, is, I'm not... in the wrong hands, it could be devastating. The funny thing is, is that uh, I remember hearing about uh, another Imperial Guard regiment that seems to uh, seems to have an abnormally large amount of uh, recruits to draw from. You were not supposed to know of that. Now we have to kill you. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Jason's making a reference to the Death Calls Creek. <laughs> Well, wow. <laughs> the fact that they seem to have a unnaturally large amount of numbers to draw from. Well, you're more than welcome to try, Tech Priest. <sighs> the, uh, let's see. Not worth the effort. So what I'm hearing there is cowardice. <laughs> Would you kindly stop trying to provoke the tech priest into a well killing you? Mm. To be fair, he did threaten me first. <laughs> so I just think <laughs> it threatened me first. The entire yes, time you guys have been talking, there's been a uh, multiple thrains and red eyes passing by you that are just kind of taking care of the uh Cloning bats. Mm -hmm. You there. Clone. Where is the original? <laughs> Where is the primal? It doesn't answer you. And keeps doing what it's doing. Useless. <laughs> <laughs> Who walks up? <laughs> walks up to Marius. You there. Clone. Where is the original? <laughs> Marius Captain takes smacks the... you across the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Marius just kind of lifts up the the, the the sheath of the sword and bonks him on top of the head. Mm. <laughs> Racist power axe. Mm -hmm. <sighs> we already know where the original is. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, 
Unless I don't say much use for this. Oh, it's your co-captain. <laughs> As I do not see much uh, non-heretical use of this tech, I suppose. Uh, let's just get rid of it. Once we claim the train legacy back, we'll have another functioning, just as advanced technology in case we need it, and much more of a comprehensive user manual if we can wring it out of the elders back home. Mm. To destroy technology of this magnitude requires this special hand of a mechanicus. I shall do it in private. <laughs> Why are there two Jasons? <laughs> <laughs> you want to notice now? <laughs> <laughs> you walk up to this, you there, clone. <laughs> I had my Dude, sheet open so I with one voice. So I am not a clone. Mm. <laughs> I, I, I put it down when you started talking about a second Jace. Mm hmm. <laughs> I had my sheet open, so I could I couldn't see one of the J I couldn't see one of the Jaces. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what do you guys ah. say to uh, Sigma saying that he wants to uh, ritually take care of the cloning technology alone? Mm, uh, Nadia just looks at him. Sigma, if we do this, there will be well two of you when they when we come back, and then the two of them will be like, no, sorry, give us more time, and there'll be four of you. Mm. Of course, a, uh, the ritual of uh, sanctimonious of put, uh, sanctimonious death requires the, at least three uh, sanctified mechanicus members. I mean, the arch, idea. Arch, the idea. I'm not saying you clone yourself three times to, uh, for a ritual you made up just now. The, Give the it entire... up, we'll find better tech today or some other time. The, Mm. The entire idea of there being multiple sigmas, can we? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you want, Psyker? Uh, I'm just wondering, Karchman, how many clones of Sigma would be able to cut down a single volley? How many? Have a guess how many rounds of ammunition I have. <laughs> <laughs> Analyzing. Uh, regarding, say we were uh, attacking from a distance, from a hundred feet away, I project that he would have to cut, uh, shoot down at least seven of uh, myself. Yeah, you see, the really, the really unfortunate thing there is that uh, he said started a hundred meters away, and I know that the hell gun of his only has a range of ninety. <laughs> And uh, just going to double check what uh, the range of my heavy ghost cannon is. Oh, look at that, 200 meters. <laughs> yeah, that one might have me be. <laughs> mm -hmm. Would you would you both stop comparing dick sizes? Uh, I'm gonna call the crew and get somebody with a demolition expert. But I don't have a dick. And yet you're all bragging about it. No. <laughs> Let me call the ship. Hmm. I feel um. insulted. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Adios. Uh, call the ship. You get a response from the ship that they have a great way to deal with the problem, and a uh, request that you leave the village immediately. Yes. <laughs> we, we, we do, we do in fact have a here. ship. Mm. We do in fact have a ship. Or a militar bombardment. <laughs> As they are fairly sure there will be nothing left of anything related to the village. Mm -hmm. Well, group, you had the mission. Mm. Right, I do not wish to uh, test their definition of danger close. Well, it's a good thing that they're professionals. Mm. Mm, quite. As you get on the surface and just see this bright light, uh, Above you. <laughs> Luke, Find out that there was a bit too trigger happy member <laughs> of the crew. Mm. Anyway, we... they, they seem overly happy about destroying a cloning facility of Matthias's. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that's my influence. <laughs> 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 mm. All right. 
pushing our way through the sea of Mariasai. Mm. We make our way to the surface and off into the desert. Mm. May taking our time to make a plausible distance. Mm. Mm. I spent my XP from last session. And then I suppose we watched the sky in the sky <laughs> rain down hellfire. I did not fuck. Okay. <laughs> Well, while we are heading over to a new place, a new town, I wonder which uh, I wonder which party member we are going to discover that has been deified. You, you, you joke, you joke, but that'd be absolutely hilarious. That to fire off a nuke, they have to kill twenty-five people. <laughs> I mean, I can see that for a chaos ship. Just, 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 just give me ten minutes. It'll be fine. So yeah. <laughs> yo ho ho, yo ho ho. <laughs> There's something very funny about the way that's just been said. Of. Uh. uh. Yeah. Does anything interrupt our journey mm -hmm. to the Great Desert before we get to watch the light show? It does not, and in fact, yes, as you guys get a de decent distance away, uh, a decently large mushroom cloud appears on the horizon. Mm -hmm. I'll buy a badger. No. Let's no, just no. say, uh... Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. Warhammer yep. chat. Yep. Discord. Ah, uh, yes. The rips are gold. Yeah. When sex is so good, not only do your clothes go flying off, so does your skin. Mm. I, I have questions. To this day. Mm -hmm. I have questions. <laughs> <laughs> so, I think he was trying to make love to a war machine. Mm. <laughs> you mean like a giant war machine that has a cannon dripping acid? Yes, things like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So, on the other, towards the other direction of the horizon, you guys do be, appear to be approaching yet another village. Oh, Joy. Who's gonna be the lucky one this time? Yep, bro. Who will the universe be making fun of this time? I'll wait, I'll wait. Uh, mm -hmm. Please let it be Jace. <laughs> Whenever they come across my idea of a personal hell, <laughs> I can oh, only yeah, imagine. I can only yes, we've already had one personal hell. But what about two personal? I, I, I can I, I can only imagine that yours, uh, Tech Priest, is just a bunch of unplugged toasters. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either Sakespis, uh, Sogol, or myself, or. Uh, The priest. Uh, entirely possible. As you do indeed get close to the village, you see that it is a sort of organized chaos. The people there seem to be doing inane things, but in a very specific order, one after the other. And all of them seem to be 
blind in some way. Uh, <laughs> likely self-inflicted. It hmm. seems to be your city mutant. Because it'll be immensely amused. Like, uh, quite a lot of them seem to have had their eyes burned out. Uh -huh. Huh, that is interesting. Uh. Well, let's see if they are only familiar, not familiar, but uh, they are on a similar through outward uh, perspective. And I will uh, activate Fettered Mind's Eye. And I will do. I would like to make a Psyniscience check so I can try to detect if there's anyone uh, psychic capable in that village. Go ahead. <laughs> and as well, throw me a uh, knowledge psyker. Uh, yep, 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 yep. Um, okay, that. Uh, yeah, that's still. Sustained. Okay, so my TK shield is still being sustained. I'm just trying to see if there are, I have anything else that I'm sustaining, but no. Okay, Sanisians. Okay, I am satisfied with that result. And you said knowledge psychers, correct? So let's yep. Go. All right. Uh, still doesn't work on my end, so I need to do manually. Uh, I'm gonna spend a fate point on that. All right. Yeah, I do. I do spend a fate oh, point. Oh. I was thinking that was the reroll. <laughs> yeah. No, no. Okay, that's uh, four point one, I think, because target number is sixty-six. All right, tracking. Okay, there we go, just a bit my XP. Alright. I need to I now need to quickly just have a look at oh. fucking Okay, so uh <laughs> There are not psychers like me. They do not have the same power. And uh, sad to say, the, the most that they would expect uh, away from this planet is being boarded on the black ship and uh, probably being uh, sacrificed for the glory of God Emperor's life. Is Jace Malachi training his gun on Sacrifice? What is this, Donut? Mm. No! That was, that was a bit of a explorer, missed. steady hand and eagle high, keep Corsair <laughs> steady on any target. Mm. Mm. 
I just I, I just had to quickly just search up the, the long range and extended range for weapons. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So he's, so... Not, he's not aiming at Sekispus, thankfully. <laughs> so then, Sekispus, what are they? Just blind uh, fanatics? Hmm. They are fanatics. They definitely have some latent psychic um, ability, but uh, I think the simple solution would be to talk to them. And I think I'm gonna do it right now. And I will, if not stopped, I will start marching towards the village. All right, sounds like a plan to me. Mario Strain follows, trying to pin like this. What's his idea? He's not following this <laughs> That's me. What oh. is? I come about and I basically, I, I have to, I have to use a power to pull off the idea that I have. Uh, I basically go with, oh my God, uh, mind scan. Oh, sorry for the whole fucking thing. And essentially, in like. Without that range, uh, within that range, uh, all of the latent psychic minds uh, hear one message from me. How do you do, fellow psychers? <laughs> <laughs> Holding the staff over your back. Okay, hello. Mm -hmm. How do you do, fellow psychers? Uh... Just checking something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, essentially had to use mind scan because three successes give me a chance that I can initiate telepathic communication with any mind I sense in the area. I mean, it says that you can talk to them. It doesn't say that they can talk back. Uh, okay. If yeah, sure, it's fine. If you want to. I'm just, I'm just looking. Uh, I will send you a message though. Okay. To be fair, I mean, I guess. Uh... Allowing the psychic to. Go I mean, I kind of. Any information. I mean, kind of maybe ties to like a basic thought sending. Which also doesn't state that. I mean, it says, as per two suggestor, plus the psyche may initiate telepathic communication with any of the minds you sensed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I kind of thought it's like in D and D you have sending spell. You do not have to be a. Uh, you do not have to be a. What's the word I'm looking for? You do not have to be a spellcaster. You do not have to have that spell mm -hmm. to hear the sending. To send message back. Yeah, I uh, sent you a message. Yeah, I see, I see. Ah. <laughs> and just to clarify, I hear that answer mentally. Yes. Okay. All right, and so I also telepathically answer. Well, that sounds just grand. Uh, what is your objective? What is your goal? While they're having this psychic communication, right, we're, we're wandering into the town. What do the rest of us see? Are they talking in any way? Or is it just psychics looking probably so uh, and horrified and delighted? Mm -hmm. Most of that second one. Uh, as you guys walk into town, like, this is normally like you go anywhere and like people at least look at you given the fact that you have a really large orc following you if nothing else uh, mm -hmm. everyone in town doesn't even seem to register your presence 
Mm -hmm. They just keep doing what they're doing. Which seem to be inane little things like uh, you pass one person that seems to be like counting rocks and then when he's done like gathers him up, tosses him again and starts counting him again and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I do not like this village. Yeah, you and me both, Ted Christ. There is no sense of progression here. Alright, looks like it's stuck in place. I mean, well, so yeah. are the other cities, but at least they would look at us. Well, if that isn't a fucking metaphor, I don't know what is. <laughs> Mm. Marius looks at Sagispus. You have any idea what's going on here? Mm. A moment, Captain, let me cook. <laughs> okay, Mr. Sagispus. <laughs> that, that phrase, no! <laughs> Give me just a second, second. I'm just asking for clarification and then waiting patiently for a message. Oh boy, this is an interesting choice. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Yes, I think. I think. I think. Uh, this Good will be. You. This will be as straightforward as with the previous one. They are. They are attempting to. Um, it might not look like much, and it's. Probably like long, but they are trying to make a, a ritual of some kind, and I would rather assume that not the type that um, 
that is done by the faithful followers of the uh, God Emperor. No, those are just things like of incense. Um, well then, Stachispus, what do you... What do you propose we do to these people wanting to be you? Mm -hmm. Oh, sadly they... They will... It is a shame they will uh, never be me and sadly they will uh, never have a, have a chance to do so. If they succeed, they will... Uh, I'm not sure. Do you, Captain, or anyone of you knows what happens if a planet is pulled into warp? Because I can assure you, it is possible. I can only imagine, given that... Uh... Out of character, uh, we do know. But in character? What are you saying, Jace? Jace, oh, yeah. I, I can certainly imagine, given the shite that I've seen pour out of the Eye of Terror from Cadia. Yeah. Yes. Um, the uh, Forbidden Lore Walk. This, uh, this might be a feral world, and however lacking it is, it is not a planet uh, full of uh, taint, corruption, and uh, creatures of the warp. Because that's what would happen. Ah. Uh. Hmm. Well then, uh, let us let us purge another heret heretical place. Hmm. I'm really not enjoying all. The I I think probably one mushroom cloud I have been a bit too close <laughs> to mushroom clouds already. Um. Uh, still, I suppose we might as well. Hmm. Unless you have some other option, of course. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Sigma slowly raises uh, the heavy ghost weapon. Considering that you are really not listening. Uh, I guess, Captain, you can do the honors because I think the war that should follow is uh, Pirate Will. Uh. Give the orders, Captain. <sighs> Very well. Take take out these nascent heretics. Let's just purge this place. Mm. Okay, in that case, Sigma uh, raises the heavy gauss weapon and aims at the nearest cluster of uh, pseudo sacrifices. I mean, I guess they don't look like me. I mean, they, they they are not clones of me. They just have like bird eyes and whatnot. If I'm understood right, three. They're re wearing similar robes and they've all blinded themselves. But that's about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. They are similar but not identical. Need. Oh, in that case, he is going to do a half action to blank shot. I got back. <laughs> Why do I come back to uh, Sigma shooting? <laughs> uh, they're killing the heretics. Oh, oh, okay. Well, mm -hmm. because okay. the captain told me to. <laughs> well, we know what that means. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, let's just kill them, kill them on our way out, and then drop, and uh, drop a couple of orbital rounds on this place just to make sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. He says you're a heretic. <sighs> Jesus, nine degrees of success. Yeah, <laughs> I rolled a six. <laughs> Somebody doesn't like heretics. Mm -hmm.
Uh, they don't fight back. Yeah, I don't feel that much. We and uh, are all of them just kind of dropping like flies. Mm hmm. We presumably tear a bloody path that, you know, would give anyone outside of Warhammer serious trauma. And... <laughs> let's, let's Hopefully just... gives people in Warhammer trauma as well. Yes, let's mm -hmm. just make this uh, quick to grant them Emperor's mercy. Mm, quite. Mm. And then, well, we make our distance, uh, call in the ship again. As and... you get about two-thirds mm -hmm. of the way through the village, you all start to feel a pressure on the air. Maria Strange stops and tries to clear a shake his head once or twice. So Kispus, stop it, what's going on? Mm -hmm. I'm... I'm not... sure. I feel like I walking see again. Like, taste the I, air, sniff I about. believe as a, as I, I believe as a, uh, military expert would call it warp fuckery. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Although if the psyker doesn't know, I suggest we just get clear and let the ship mm -hmm. this place a bit. <laughs> All right, as we rev down our guns and start... That's probably for the best. As we rev down our guns and start running, is the pressure still mounting? It remains, but doesn't grow. After a couple of bit of running, Mario Chain like holds up a hand to stop. I... It feels as if these people... Could it be that the real ritual is their death, not their actions? Hmm? Huh. Jay shoots one more person to test that theory. Mm. <laughs> uh, he dies. <laughs> uh, does the power, does the pressure get slightly worse? Roll me awareness. No. No, it does not. <laughs> In that case... You want to reroll that with a plus 10? Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will reroll that, reroll that, reroll that with a plus 10 shield. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Perhaps it has sort of trap. Lemao. <laughs> it in fact um, seems to have uh, dropped the pressure somewhat. <laughs> Let's see. What the fuck? <laughs> Why does Train keep making these weird awareness checks? I'm not sure if you want anything from me, but I feel like, well, it was his idea, so... <laughs> well, I could say that you could confirm that the pressure has not actually dropped. Mm hmm mm hmm And Sigma, you, you are aware that the pressure has not increased from one death. Mm-hmm. In that case... Keep killing them. This require uh, this experiment requires more than one death. At least psychopathic. Uh, However, <laughs> uh, the Arch Militant's suggestion that, well, perhaps if not for ritual, they might have pre prepared a trap beforehand. Maybe. That should anyone do this from up close. Uh, They might find themselves in a blast radius, so to speak. So perhaps providing coordinates and making this in a while and swift motion would be the way to go. Yeah, fine. Put the troops in instead. <laughs> Have them finish it off. I mean, do we really want to waste rather waste time of our soldiers on 
I'm not sure even if they if they would even call this a good target practice. Mm. You got like these the figures spinning in Mario Strange's head. Are all the Sakuspis clones like standing in one position? No, the ones like... that are still alive are still mm -hmm. doing their inane mundane tasks they were doing. Mm hmm. Like, like, you see some of them as time goes on, stop, and like, go and eat like a bowl of gruel with that another one is just constantly making as one of their inane tasks. And mm -hmm. then just like, going inside of a building, presumably, to rest for a bit. Mm. But they make no notice that uh, two-thirds of their village is dead. <laughs> In fact, some of them you see are, like, uh, walking up to corpses and starting to just, like, make a small talk to them. Oof. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, perhaps their gift of seeing without eyes is, well, they don't really have it. I can only imagine this must be going on in your head, Psyka. I mean, because I was granted the fraction of the great power of the Emperor, I can see perfectly fine, even if I don't see with the eyes. It's hard to explain, and don't worry about it. Yeah, well... The funnier explanation that each part of this is a separate part of your personality. By the way, I just stop comparing the inane mundane tasks of these guys to Sakis Pistols. Let's get out of here. Mm. Uh, my dear strain, you're gonna seem like deep in thought as we book it out of the city. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Like, why? Why do I want to break in the ritual? But we can't wait for him to figure anything out. As Chip, we once you again, may fire when ready. Yes, as once again we get a fire a bit quite a bit of distance from the ship. Well dun, dun, dun. Uh, corner mm. slot. Mm. So as the uh bomb hits the village and the mushroom cloud and wave of fire appear. Mm-hmm. You feel that the, uh, what was the growing pressure in the air just kind of snaps. And mm -hmm. you all notice something very odd about the, uh, nuclear fire. <laughs> Warp color? It is, uh, rather multicolored. Ah, uh, piss! And I better not have mixed freaking colors and the nukes. Mm. Ah, it is... Well, it's I not, think it. Not good. Well, I think it's safe to say that we can expect some sort of demon coming out right now. Uh, mm hmm. Uh, as Jace uh, dons his sanctified power fist. You're not wrong, as you see from the crater that was once the village, there appears to be a too deep hole. And out of the hole comes swarming. Uh, numbers of demons you are, wrong. Demons. you are wrong about the number um perhaps evacuation by the maria strain reaches up to the transponders chip would you kind of keep firing and would you also be able to send transport asap mm. oh you know what this means defensive positions everyone <sighs> mm -hmm. well that's fucking hordes of demon approaches in that case, uh... Because, hey, if we're gonna die, we may as well have a fucking laugh about it. Ugh. In that case, Sigma mm -hmm. is going to look for any high ground. Well, like, here's the thing. For you to be, like, a safe distance from the bomb in the first place, you are a significant distance from this. I would mm -hmm. say that we are I probably counting... how fast the demon can move. ...if with kilometers, like, at the very least, even for tactical nukes, so that the blast wave doesn't kill us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like likely more than that, like... Considering like, we don't want to take permanent damage either. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, you guys are probably, like... 
near the horizon if you're on the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, possibly even farther if you're up in the air in one of your ships. Because you yeah. do have ships still that you could just take back to your ship. Mm -hmm. That is true, actually. We, we do didn't, come... though. We were mostly just like keeping exploring. But I think the real question is, like, uh, do they... How fast are the demons? And can they reach us before any evacuation shuttle can? Because if they can't, we just get out of here. Mm -hmm. You are able to just get out. Mm -hmm. And you can see that uh, the continuing fire from the ship actually cuts out as you're leaving. Because each nuke that detonates on the surface seems to have its own technicolored explosion and in fact grows the rift. Yeah. Think... Cease fire, cease fire. Yeah, they already morning. have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, probably best just to use the macro cannons. Which is actually something that yeah, Jace would have technically ordered. Um does the macro cannons do the same, but with less colors? They're ballistic weaponry, <laughs> yeah. so not nuclear we weaponry. Yeah, so they'll just they they will hit the ground fucking hard and, and still like explode, but they're probably a little bit more uh, of a fitting uh, close support weapon to be using. Mm -hmm. Essentially, plug that hole with macro cannon fire. As the macro cannons start firing towards the hole, you're able to take out, and it's quite a distance at this point. It seems to be flying demons that are intercepting the macro cannon fire and they themselves exploding. Great. Uh. Uh, right. Well, like... One thing about this type of thing, if they have a source right here, the attrition, it's it's not in our favor, sadly. Oh, wow. Though... Is there anything like we can do about this. Mm -hmm. You do see one thing. Charging towards the hole in a rather large dust cloud, you see what appears to be a horde of scrapped together vehicles and more. a bunch of rather crazy people on them. More Zoggle gang. Mm -hmm. Wearing Zoggle masks. <laughs> well, yeah, like, uh, anything we can do about this warp, perhaps in person, mm, or will like we I just said, have to trade those maniacs right now? Like mm. I said, Sigma will get to high ground. They, they will be buying this time are, at, okay, at, also. at this point in time with a riff that like that. Uh, you'd probably need. Hold on, I do, yeah, but Grey Knights are not a com are not even uncommon knowledge, they're like fucking secret. Yep. I guess... I guess Exterminatus, like actually mm -hmm. ship, ship or force that has access to planetary destruction weaponry. We have good guns, Captain, don't take me wrong, we really have good guns. But you need like a planet cracker or something, like Exterminatus great mm -hmm. weaponry. Inquisition. Yeah, we really do the... Inquisition really... has it, I think. Oh, we could really do with the Adeptus Astartes right about now. Uh. Oh, right. I guess them too. Although, given how the last Adeptus Astartes stabbed us in the back, I'm a little bit loath. Uh. To ask them for help. Uh. The most I can do if we get to the orbit... Uh, Can start sending mm -hmm. astropathic messages all around, but not even sure. Oh, shit, yeah, we do actually have a secondary ship, don't we? Uh. Yeah, I was thinking about that. Oh, what, do you want to feed the ghosts to the hole? What's the plan here? <laughs> mm. uh, do you 
remember why we kind of waited for the Galarfields so the ship, the second ship, didn't go through the warp without them? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, if it's a it's an elder psychic construct, maybe it can act as a as a conduit, as uh, like like an enhancer to my own power, and I can try to. I did. You think perhaps if we got into position on the planet and you con conducted you somehow to the ship, you could close it, break it or something? Mm -hmm. I... I... Maybe? Well, while you're not figure that out, so I think we should probably get some level of containment sorted. Sigma is going to check their uh, surrounding area for any form of uh, like bottleneck that that they can fill up. I can, I can certainly say that crashing the Eldar ship into the planet will certainly do damage. Uh, in that um, the outcome you might not know, but also wouldn't be your problem if you never come back to the system. The, the only thing I'm thinking of right now is good old Tassadar with the whole uh, sacrifice in his ship fire. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to, kill the, uh, to kill the Overmind. Well, Mario says that's about the sacrifice his ship for a random planet in the middle of nowhere. Mm -hmm. um, I think, as far as we know, apart from this thingy, there is like not much uh, around this this world. No, nope, not really. Mm-hmm. No. Also, like, if this I can... world used to be important uh, thousands of years ago, if not tens of thousands, but certainly isn't now. Mm-hmm. Also, an uh, yeah. opinion re on what I wrote in private message? Well, Captain, I am willing to give it a go. If you want me to use the second ship and try to use it as a medium, I will do my best. I I don't know why or how misread the signs, but I'm I'm willing to put my life on the line or to, to face this. <laughs> What exactly uh, would this entail, Mario says, turning towards you, back straight, and look you, well, in the eyes. I'm not... It's ship filled with ghosts, I'm... and it's Eldar constructs, so... It can be... Maybe as a conduit, maybe... You not... I don't really know how to... How to fly, but... I shrug, again, it's... It's just an idea. I'm I'm fine with. Uh, it's a shame, but it's a feral world, and it's. To be honest, I don't think it really held much value for the Imperium. Uh, and again, I'm fine with the other idea. As I said, that we can leave the planet, go out orbit, and basically I can start sending telepathic messages to 
other places of authority that uh, we know of and inform that uh, hey there's probably a burgeoning demonic world happening here so you might want to do something about that yeah i think that's the plan i think it's just better to just leave it then risk whatever risk some improvisational connection with the elder ship and the elder captain there'll be a time to stab us in the back so it might be just the time for him Let's just go call in the Inquisition or whoever's watching. Um, you mean the Inquisition that we're currently running from? Eh, we'll see if they pick the right choice or not. Well, knowing Imperium and the Inquisition, it's a bit of a hard one. But hopefully, a burgeoning chaos world is takes precedence. Especially since it stands still, so we have no interest in that. Hmm... So? Yes. Hmm. Oh, Mario says, do you think your odds are good? Hmm? Mm. Uh, sending the messages? I mean, I have my range, but I can do them over time. As for the... As for the initial idea of the ship, well... I did... Uh, although, I think Arch Militant can confirm that I did the... That rift we found in our hydroponics. When we had to deal with mm. those weird raiders, I did... I mean, air quotes, closed it. Well, either way, you're going to need to make a decision, otherwise the... I don't know, Zogger lights are going to get overrun. I'm fine with either, but the first one, I will lie. I would like if I said that it had a big chance of success. I will do my best. I'm strong as a psyker, and that ship can enhance that. Manage to hesitate for a second and then. Oops. I, do, I, I would much hate to lose you, Psyker. But, he says, looking at the ship to whatever like comms control we're in, if you are able to link with it, we'll have a new strength in our arsenal, a new power. It won't just be some unexplored crazy idea, but something to use against Captain Red Eye as well. He turns towards Sakaspis. If you are willing to put your life on the line, we might not just fix this mistake, but perhaps gain a way to a new strength in our way. You said you were willing to risk your life, Sakaspis? That is correct. I am willing to risk my life. Then let us see what exactly the future will bring. Come with me, crew. Let us head to the ghost ship. My captain will have to uh, deal with new guests. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need people on the ground to make sure the demons aren't going to be trying to overrun the ship. Especially the flying ones. How close will we need to get the ship? Take us, please. Will it have to land on the ground? It's going to be in close. Uh, EM, can I ask for a small clarification? Sure. How close it may be? Uh, we'd probably have to crash it into the planet. Crash so, into the planet? So, yes. <laughs> that close. Like, that's what I was talking about, not, like, the weapons oh, on okay. it, but actually, like, using the ship as a weapon. Oh, uh, okay. Oh. That's just a, it's just a missile? Yeah, that's not. Yeah. Mm. Oh, well. As for mm -hmm. the ship, that ship's own weapons, it has some really impressive weaponry, but not really enough to destroy a planet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. In which Best case... bet on that front would be trying to uh, burrow deep enough into the planet to uh, disrupt the core, which mm -hmm. uh, you'd put off to be under the surface at that point, so you'd have to like dig into the planet. Mm -hmm. Digging would and take time, great. and but that put in time again enough war fuckery would make it less efficient. Yes.
Mm-hmm. In which case, Mary just shrugs his, shakes his head, unfortunately, that's not willing to risk the, the ship. Let's go, everyone. Call in whoever might show up. And hopefully they'll fix it before things go too bad. Hmm. So, well, let's get going, then. Our ship, the boat ship, rises further and further away from the planet. The sack is presumably trying to contact the world and send out the emergency message of a burgeoning chaos world. I'm just gonna say, uh, yeah, that I'm, I'm, I'm not sending message to the world we are visiting next. I'm sending all probably the places that we probably idea. won't be arriving, <laughs> won't be coming in the near future. Just in case. Just in case, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, would you need me to make an uh, uh, rolls for... Uh. I'm just gonna double check I mean, what's, my, it, I, what's my what's my range. I recall uh, interstellar communication takes time more than anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me just a second. Where is the freaking? Uh, okay, astrophysics signal. Uh, yeah. So without pushing, I can do, and of course without sustaining any power, I can. A reach nearby system. Uh, sadly, even if I push, I am not into like subsector range just yet. Mm -hmm. So, can you There's push and spend actually? Yeah. Sorry, what was that? Could you push and spend a fate point, or is that just not a thing? I mm. can, I can. I'm definitely, I'm willing to do that. But the thing is that, depending on how the, I'd say you could reach uh, the pleasure world over here, Solus and Carmine. All right. Yeah, because that's the thing. Like, if I have to send message to like five different places and like. Spend it's, the it's fate point for. a different subsector, but you're kind of on the edge of this one, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. And actually, time for nearby system is d10 minutes. For a sub, for different subsector is d5 hours. Uh, mm -hmm. And to be mm -hmm. fair, nearby system starts getting like minus 10 penalty. Subsector gets minus 20 penalty. Which is base difficulty, but I'm not sure if it's base difficulty for Psy Focus? Probably Psy Focus. For our manifestation, I mean. Uh, have a plus 10 on whatever you're doing anyway. Mm -hmm. Alright. Alright, uh, I just need to check uh, so I don't sustain any powers because that's gonna screw me over. 10 of them are active right now. Right. Plus 10, plus 10 from Cephalcus, so let's say I'm gonna take the penalty for uh, minus 20 for subsector. That's gonna be even. Whew. Barely, but made it. Mm -hmm. And it took me only one hour. Actually, fuck if. Okay, if I'm doing. Actually, yeah, if we are doing subsex rise, I guess I still need to spend the fate point and. Mm. And, and, and uh, do the psychic phenomena, I guess. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. 15. 
Good thing I have favored by the wharf. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Not favored enough. Mm. A fucking hundred. Holy shit. Okay, perils. Soulbound, yes. Um. Hold on. Uh, so one out of ten, does it mean I can do zero one or Yeah, I think so. Because I you think take... ten ten is counted as zero in this? Yeah. So yeah, you can take ten, 10, 1, 15, or 50. Uh, yeah, that. Alright, so I'm just gonna, look. Yeah. I'm gonna double check. But I think 1 is like very tame. The, uh, 10, probably. Hmm. So, 1 is the gibbering, which uh, you have to make a willpower test or suffer 1d5 plus 1 insanity points. I have very low insanity points. I'm willing to take that risk. I mean, uh, 50... 10 is you get knocked unconscious for 1d5 rounds, but yeah, I'm not sure that interrupts the communication or not, basically. Mm. Uh, Cyblast is, or 15 is, you get launched into the air. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. Ah. That one doesn't interrupt you or anything, it just hurts. Mm. Mm. You know what, again, I have very low insanity counts, so let's bump it up a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that result. I mean... I mean, you could always do warp whispers and uh, cause everyone in forty ten uh, meters to uh, willpower suffer corruption points. Oh, yes, everyone gets a corruption point. Hey. Mm. Mm. But that wouldn't be kosher. <laughs> That'd be a bit of a dick move. <laughs> Actually, wait, hold on, because insanity points is one thing, but the stunning is also. Are you rerolling it? Yeah, yeah, because actually, hold on, because then I have to think of a different thing. Uh, Psy Blast, no. Uh, Psychic Concussion, no. I mean, I assume I, I do it in my like chamber, so it will be a question of how many people are. I mean, I'm giving you the I'm giving you the plus ten of the earlier one, so I'm at least nearby. I'm not sure if anyone else. Oh, is. okay. Mm -hmm. Fuck it. Jason, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna keep the gibbering, but three rolling. So another fit point down the dashed. Huh. Ah. Actually, I did not put that plus ten from you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that would barely pass, I think. Because right. it would be 81, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. You are, in fact, not a gibbering mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> stand, st stand straight, Mario says. Hold on. Do not let them get your claws into you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm basically doing the fucking gun guns from Star Wars. <laughs> if, if, if you need any more incentive, Psycho, I'm standing right here with a loaded bolter. <laughs> <laughs> We want the psychic mind straight, not to straight through, Jace. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I think it's straight far. Mm. Mm. Alright. Oh, okay, it was close, but I think I have did what I can. Mm -hmm. and hold on, we'll see what I can. I'm still waiting, I'm getting that. Behind the scenes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay, that killed me. Well, I done what I can, and the rest is up to the others. Uh... Matthias. Yes? You get a, um... message from the bridge, depending on where you're at, mm -hmm. uh, that they have detected a ship that is, uh, 
exiting the warp. All right. We take a the, the hurry. Wolf. Marius heads to the warp and asks them to try and identify. Tell me what the hell we're looking at. Hmm? The, the warp is in the planet or from an actual, like, travel? Like, there, there's a ship that uh, is traveling to the system. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Um... I just need to check something. <laughs> that, that was quick. Too quick. Uh, More uh, time shenanigans? The, um... They are really confused because it is... They, it is an Imperial ship that they're getting. Except that it's um, transponder codes or whatever it is uh, is one that hasn't been seen in about forty thousand years. <laughs> Wait, forty thousand years? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. It's like uh, in Jesus times. I guess more hammer cave. Ten thousand? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe. 10, I'm looking at this and. The date was uh, really early. It, <coughs> did, what was the was the ship in the year twenty forty seven? What was the ship called? Event Horizon, per chance. If Ooh. you are, if we are thinking Great uh, Crusade era, then that's like thirty millennium. So that would be like. I'm thinking Horus Heresy era. That's that's uh, mm. that's that, yeah. that was thirty thousand. That was thirty. That was the thirty k. So it's been about yeah, 10, 000. yeah, ten thousand yeah. years 10, ago. Years. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. I, I was just looking at the dates and it uh, ha has this, so I wasn't really sure I'm going to put it in uh, mm -hmm. Warhammer. I guess, yeah, yeah, that's Millennium 31. Okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Very okay. Well. So yeah, it hasn't been seen in 10,000 years. Marius just like, uh, like d checks, double checks and triple checks like the, the command mm -hmm. and then just Ask them to establish a line with the ship and go basically as immediate commanders. This is Marius Train, Train Dynasty, Rogue Trader, uh, uh, and fleet. Hmm. They, um, the guy actually interrupts you and says mm -hmm. that they've uh, connected the code to one of the Thousand Suns ships. Oh, fuck off. Uh. uh. That's not good. Ugh. No, Marius looks at probably how like badass is this vessel that's currently approaching. Mm. I can barely. <laughs> if, 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 yeah, it's if it's a battle much. barge, we are fucked. Mm -hmm. I thought, I thought, I thought. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> can I run an uh, or uh, scan on the ship to check for life signs? The, the the real question comes in: Did we get? Did we get? Have we come across the uh, Have we come across the Loyalist Thousand Sons or the Renegade Thousand Sons? Because <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. as far as I'm aware, I don't think the entire chapter turned. Oh boy, Mighty well, Strange. The Loyalist Mighty's... ones, the ship probably would have been seen more than uh, ten thousand mm -hmm. years ago. Oh, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> Mighty Strange, just like. Could you guys kindly look through the ship's log? Like, who owned this ship, like, all the way back then? Because this isn't the first... Maddie Strange is not the first owner of this ship. And please, for the love of the Emperor, hurry the hell up. As he starts, like, stalling. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, I'll get the crew in battle positions in case we are boarded, uh, as per Space Marine Doctrine. If we are boarded as, by Space Marine... You are Marine, Space Marine? Marine? As, as per Adeptus Astartes... <laughs> Doctrine, they prefer boarding mm -hmm. actions. <laughs> As Mario Strange just goes, if this uh, this ship has belonged to the one of the Thousand Sons, we'll need to give them the whole damn list to show that it's no longer theirs. As Mario Strange continues, this is no Thousand Son ships. This is a train dynasty ship, bought and sold uh, fairly, uh, due to the right of becoming a rogue trader. Mm. Yes, you know, we, we probably might yeah. want to leave. Your ship is very much not an Astarte ship, as well. 
Mm -hmm. has never been in a sturdy ship. Yeah. So, yeah. In which case, Mario's train goes, basically, like, sends them the ship logs. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's see, I'm just checking something. Okay. Uh. I know, I know we killed Chaos, a Chaos Space Marine, but this is uh, a little bit too much even for me. <laughs> Actually, shit, I'm not sure if I'm metaing because I'm not sure how Some common, how common, uh, uh, how common knowledge is. Of work. Okay, I have that, so maybe I'm not completely speaking out of my ass. Uh, barely, but I pass with 0 0.3 degrees of success. The, the Thousand Suns are indeed known for their strong psychers. I mean, they're also all fucking psychers, but that's a different matter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Or sold bundle armor. That's kind of all they got. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you get more info in that uh, you get a communication from the ship demanding that you uh, surrender immediately to the sect of the Red Echo. Uh, Sect of the Red Echo, I don't think they, uh, uh like a, uh, common lore, a Chronos Expanse could help with that. Nope. So, uh, yeah, just to be sure, these cannot. guys are Thousand Sons or calling us Thousand Sons? Mm -hmm. No, that's what the I misheard. These guys are the Thousand Sons, they're not okay, calling okay. you Thousand Sons. No, I misheard that the, basically they showed up and it's like some Imperium ship that's like, hold on, you're Oh, you're oh no, no, the, 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 this, this is a Thousand Suns ship. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, that changes things. The, uh, okay. Could a logic check... Uh, would that be a logic <laughs> check to see if uh, we recognize uh, who the uh, Crimson is? Uh, we know who they are, we're just confused where the fuck they came from. Mm -hmm. The warp. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that, that's also something we know, but like a thousand on ships that looks like it hasn't shown up for a while, but yeah, no. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Mario's train like looks at the old crew. Uh, asking some questions to the engineers is like, how big, how much of a chance do we have to just get into the warp and get out of here? Mm hmm. Uh, doing a logic check to kind of, uh, right, gauge up chances. Do you want my, uh, tactical assessment, Captain? <laughs> or do you want to wait until we're possibly a smoldering pile of ash? What did you say? Do you want my tactical assessment, Captain, or should I wait until we're possibly a smoldering pile of ash? And what is your tactical assessment? We're hmm? fucked. <laughs> 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 And why did oh, fuck off? Hmm. Um... <laughs> yes, I. Well, I do also uh, believe that we should leave. Uh, yes, yes they think uh... that you can indeed make an emergency jump and get the fuck out. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope you can do what you do best, uh, Captain. That is, store them with words. Because if what we are. Say? I hope you can do what you can do best, Captain, and store them with words. Uh -huh. Because if that if that ship starts firing on us, or they get space, or they get the, or they get the space marines aboard, we are going to have issues. Yep, yep. All right, Maria Stream just looks at looks at the other Captain. We're close. We're about the emergency warp. Mm -hmm. Uh, he talks to me like, and yeah, yeah, the elder go ghost captain. There we go. Ghost captain gets loose. We're about to emergency warp. Then he turns back to the uh, broadcast signal, um, and basically goes, uh, "This 
Uh, your signature is not one that has not been seen for over 10,000 years. Uh, what proof do I have that you are who you're supposed to be and not some imposter? Um, mm. They simply respond, prepare to be boarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that well, case, prepare okay. emergency jump. So. Okay, so, okay, well, I'm gonna... Okay, well, let's, uh... Security teams are in position. <laughs> and indeed, mm -hmm. as they say that, a, uh... Single Valkyrie gets launched. Mm. I, will, I will go. If they're gonna be put on the ship, they'll be back with me and... Me and the security teams. <laughs> Captain, maybe that emergency jump. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying Charge to do. Charge up the damn emergency jump. That's the plan. Like that's as I said, I'm stalling while we're trying to turn it on. I don't right. know how quickly. It's Doing going. a tech use to. Uh, mm -hmm. All right, never mind. As I said, go ahead and roll that tech use. Probably uh, thinking, uh, uh, Captain gets me at plus ten. Yeah, yeah. If you're trying to start the tech, uh, the freaking thing, yes, get me the hell out. And. Julius, roll me a d100. Alright. 24. I mean, that's good. Probably good, right? As Valkyrie starts close again and readying itself to effectively breach the ship. Mm hmm. Sorry, words. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, words are hard. <laughs> the rift to the warp opens in front of you, and mm -hmm. you are able to escape into it. You can certainly be followed if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. It would be. difficult because of the emergency nature of it. Mm hmm. And you will end up, uh, probably just somewhere random once you leave. Possible. The navigator basically had no part of this part. You guys just yeah. said, fuck it, let's leave. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It's like hmm. navigator having a nice cup of coffee, gets a transponder message, we're heading into the warp, and he's just like, what the fuck? It's like, <laughs> wait, just what? Uh... <laughs> I didn't uh, finish my he, coffee break! Yeah. He himself is, uh. ready enough to navigate through the warp in the sense of keeping you away from the completely terrible things. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Now, to be fair, we uh, probably didn't uh, flee from them because they were trade legions. We fled from them because they were first edition space marines. <laughs> Each one is <laughs> first edition I, I, trader marines. I, I distinctly, I distinctly recall the adept. I distinctly remember the adept of the start as being taller. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I would say that. I mean, I, I have faith in Jace, but the security teams would be like fucking cannon fodder against these guys. Yeah, you know that entire thing of like how las guns are like quite solid weapons against las guns are like legitimately solid weapons, except when they go up against anything else. <laughs> yeah, that would be. We would be getting to see that in action. <laughs> Quite quickly, mm -hmm. like, las guns are very effective weapons against hordes of orcs and cultists and what have you. When the specialists show up, that's the issue. Mm -hmm. okay. Remind yeah, me too. You, you can hope they get like a stroke from all the light, flashing lights, <laughs> uh, but that's about it sometimes. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I don't. I'm not even entirely sure if a like a guardsman armed with a las gun can legitimately do enough damage to. Damage a space because they can have like toughness, what like toughness four to six. The, the important they... thing is, yes, it is possible if the specific guardsman is a player character. Yeah, exactly. Eventually, uh, they'll roll enough, uh, like, yeah, you know, righteous furies. 
the yep. Emperor's Fury. Yep. To, to hit it, but it would be and, quite and a I while to do that. that. Yeah, because like, you can still get Regis Fury and say only war, and you're literally just a guardsman in that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it would have been just as well if we if it had come to that, that I had recently <laughs> uh, got rounds that had extra armor penetration for that fucking power armor of theirs. Mm. Well, don't worry. Also... They also have unnatural toughness, and if yeah, they I, are psychers, if they are psychers, <laughs> they probably can use powers like telekinetic shield. Yep. Oh yeah. Fucking, that's like 30 armor at that point, isn't it? Yeah. Like yep. 30 damage resistance plus. Yep, it's pretty. It's pretty then there's different. the ones that are just like souls bounded to armor. The are mm. oh, fucking. I don't. I don't. I don't. Even, I can't even imagine what a Rubik Marine stats are. Oh. I'm just looking at a couple things. Alright. So, as you travel through the warp, you and do encounter a warp storm that <laughs> the navigator is able to uh Keep you from dying to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you are basically thrown about in the warp, but surprisingly, luckily. The uh, ghost ship is able to follow you. Mm -hmm. It is quite a bit more advanced than our ship, thank uh, the primary ship, but thankfully. Mm -hmm. And you are thrown out of the warp at Augustia. Oh, there. Which is a cemetery world. In that case, mm -hmm. uh, <coughs> Sigma First. is going to check the uh, the instruments to. Uh, See how much time has passed. It has been as it goes to correct itself. Like, the, the travel through the warp itself was a few days long. And while normally a jump of that length would take about a week and a half, it seems to have only been four days. Well, it looks like we made some time. Well, I'm sure whoever uh, is. I was say, very specifically, Goosea is a tomb world. Hmm. Oh. It, it, has, it is. Yeah, a cemetery world is accurate. Because, um. Information on it is that a lost human civilization used it as a cemetery. They took their dead oh. here. Specifically on the planets near the North Pole uh, is a uh, Mechanicus expedition. Hmm. Another one, huh? Maybe we could fight more fucking Necrons. Huh? Need. All right. 
digging a store. Actually, now that I'm looking at it, I actually think it is a fucking Necron world. No, oh my fucking does. god. <laughs> it doesn't outright the say it. It doesn't outright say it, but uh... Okay, that explains why there's fucking mechanicas everywhere, don't they? Yeah, I was about to say. I'm check check to... Warhammer chat. Alright, alright, let's see. Puzzling on eight. Uh, I just hear two, two, tomb fanes. I instantly. <laughs> yeah. Black green metal set. Yeah, this is. This is. This is more Necron <laughs> shit. <laughs> hey guys, we're here to help. Well, we. <laughs> We, we don't need help. Yes, you will, because we know what we're up against. Mm -hmm. I mean, too, but the mechanics also knows what they're up against, so... Yeah. Yes. Very specifically, yes, they're actually Disciples of Thor. Which yes. are, um... Arguably heretical. Define it arguably. Um... Radical... Depending on the Inquisitor you ask, or the uh, Tech Priest you ask, they could be Tech Heretics, or they could not. Mm -hmm. Okay, would, well that... Would, that... Uh, would a know? Forbidden Lore uh, Mechanicus tell me more? Um, if you get more information on them, and so I guess you could make the decision yourself, but... Oh my god, that they have the worst crime. What is that? They want to learn. <laughs> I mean, basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember, uh, the politicians was, American politicians cool? talking about the school system. All right, uh, that does forget the lower mechanicus E74, rolling 1D100. Gonna spend a uh, eight point. Re roll that. Fuck's sake. <laughs> you wow, don't like, get any specific details. It is like looking at my rolls, Jesus. Uh. You just know that they are, um... The Disciples of Thor are, uh, one of the most numerous factions, uh, within the, uh, Mechanicus in the sector. Uh, that they are followers of Archmagos, uh, Paracelsus Thor. <clears throat> and do you and say they believe the eternal quest for knowledge is best pursued in the field? Uh, how do you spell uh, the parasol? <laughs> oh, Paracelsus. Yeah, I thought that. Was... And, uh,. You also get um this. I I can only imagine that. Uh... <laughs> so how how does uh how does Sigma posit <laughs> this knowledge that he is on a gain from about these? It's like Sigma goes, well, well, I've worked for them, I've served under them, and you know, good stuff. You know. Well, I wouldn't uh, want to brag, but I uh, once had a uh, poster of uh, Archmage's Paracelsus tool in my study when I was a uh, wee uh, Mechanicus initiate. He appears to be uh, looking to be. Uh, past for uh, for technological wisdom you know seeking out the ancient archaeotech well, and the old amazing. technologies well, well I mean, this backstory of yours do you think that shoot us at sight or should we just get out of here hmm But I do believe, uh, although his methods are radical, his uh, mind is set for the betterment of the Imperium. In which case, we might, we should probably dock. I think this ship took quite a beating in the warp. Mm. 
Yes, yeah. it could use a few repairs. Yeah, mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's dock and uh, see if we can help out with the uh, mechanic here then in that case. Luckily, then if you're Gellif, it's failed. Great! Mm -hmm. In that case, uh, if we're doing downtime activities, uh, Sigma is going to return to his uh, mech shop and uh, go over some notes. Mm -hmm. All right. Is Logal doing anything? Is who doing something? As. As isn't. In... Oh, as is. Hello, as. Did I say anything yeah, so he's, far? He's been so... here the whole time. Oh, okay. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Hello, as. <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I've seen, seen us, but he hasn't said a word, so I'm not sure if he's here. Hmm? The status on this card is like uh, it, but... A, so... Who knows? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna body. go... Yeah. Mm -hmm. The body may be here, but not really. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Bringing our ship closer, giving you know the, the radio signal so they don't think we're some suspicious people, you know. You know, uh, we head towards uh, Agusius, in, uh, the outpost on Agusia, studying not the Necron deck. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You are able to dock, and indeed, here you can uh, go for acquisitions too. Towards the, uh, actually, close to now because I have to be done soon. Say again. All right. I said, you guys can get, uh, do acquisitions here too. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No. They uh, they are welcoming for other members of the Imperium, and especially Rogue Trader. Mm hmm. Do I try and get a hold of a sword that I really want to try and get a hold of? <laughs> I don't think they have. I don't think they have that sort of stuff. So that's gonna be a no. What is? What do they? What do you want? I'm gonna go kill an elder eventually for their power sword. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Donut wants to style on an elder with his sword skills. <laughs> hmm? Um, what's the rarity of the sword? They are near unique, so that's why I'm going, no. <laughs> um, is that the hardest? Uh, the hardest? I think it's the second hardest, because you've got unique, which is the hardest, which I don't All think right. you can do it uh, yet. With. You can, once, try a unique test to see if there's one on the ghost okay. ship. Uh, hmm. I will. Bending a fate point. Uh, <laughs> what, 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 would the, what would the mass of that be? Um, so, it's minus 50, because it's unique, plus 30, so I'm currently at minus 20. I would need a 7 or less. <laughs> 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 to try and get best quality. I could toss in a commerce check, but I don't think it makes any sense for this check. <laughs> I mean, if, if the session's near the end, I'm going to spend a fate point to increase it to 17. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, real quick, what's our profit factor at? 57. The does... profit factor hasn't increased in a while, yeah. so it's still 57. Yeah. Oh, 57. I have it like ah. 10. Okay. <laughs> Sigma does not get his allowance. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try it one more time with uh, a fate point. Yeah. In that case, I'm going to re-roll my acquisitions test. <laughs> with 57. Then. That was annoyingly close, actually. Uh, yeah. well, the reason you're able to make acquisitions with them is because they have an explorer vessel. Mm -hmm. with, with everything that entails. So. Okay. I... 
do not have yeah. any idea for personal stuff, but maybe I'm willing to basically do acquisition if we want to get something for uh, for our um, troops. Yeah, I, that's what I'm thinking as well. Actually, I was thinking of maybe getting hell guns for the uh, for the crew because mm -hmm. hell guns are a substantial upgrade. <laughs> From... Right. Uh, what would be the target number? Uh, well, you, you, can go, you can go through it like bit by bit. So it would be. Uh, Is it uh, rare, rare, rare? Oh, rare. Oh, rare. Let, let me just quickly try and find the. Let me find the stat blocks for hell guns. Uh, hell guns. Lucius hell guns are rare. All right. Uh, for how many we are trying to get for regiment for division? Crew. Uh, What's the crew capacity of our ship again? Uh, very, very high. But not high compared to other Imperial vessels. I mean, we can. Yeah. I can try to make like four regiments so that we can like get one regiment, which means it's like between yeah. five hundred and a thousand. So get them. I can get them mm -hmm. like better weapons. Get them a specialty troop. Yeah. yeah. Regiment, so and good. I guess common quality because good is like. Let me, let me just have a quick look at the... Good doesn't really do much. Mm. Let, me, let me just have a quick look. It, it would mean that um, our troops are less likely to jam their weapons. Yeah, uh, but let me just have a quick best... With, an, with 10,000 of them, I don't think it's that. I mean, idea. I mean, with best, uh, that the no, target just... number is going to be a 7. Yeah, so just go with common, I think. Yeah, yeah go, go, go with common, Hellguns. You know what? I will... Wait, is it right? I don't think it's... Oh, it did. Okay, so minus 10, minus 10. I'm gonna spend a fate point. Actually, do I? Yeah, I do. So, rare... Uh, for regiment and common. No dice on my end. Mm -hmm. Uh... Marius will try it as well. <laughs> and he'll also make a, what they call a commerce check for it. This is spent, spending a fate point. So one point not, I spent a fate point, so that's 0 0.9 degrees to success. So if I make a good enough commerce check, that might actually be good enough. I need to check the specifics. Have a quick look. So for our ship, it's a Loki class. Okay, Loki class Q ship. This is the first time I actually rolled like usable commerce check, so I have to check it. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, eighteen thousand like approximate crew. Jesus. Let's take up the book real quick. It's probably about probably five thousand that I'd probably like soldiers with just the various being like deck hands and the like. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe maybe eight thousand actually. Still though, if we if we have a specialist unit of a uh, guard mm -hmm. imperial guardsman with hell guns that does amp up. Like I would actually feel, I would actually feel far more comfortable with a thousand guardsmen <laughs> taking on those that space marine squad. <laughs> da, 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 da. Where is set acquisition test? Because that is a, that is a lot of that is a lot of laser fire downrange. Mm, commerce here for each re increases the prospect by two points. That is eight points. <laughs> FYI, I think I needed one more point in the commerce check to succeed. I'm like 0 0.1 commerce away or something like that. And well, it is what it is, sadly. Uh, let's reroll the acquisition test. True faith points. Yeehaw, partner. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you get him every session, right? Why not get him? Yep, to use exactly. It? Yep. Hey! Hey, there we go. 
Uh, I'll crew. I will say um, for uh, narrowly avoiding death in multiple ways between uh, demons and uh, traitor space marines. Mm -hmm. 700 experience. Nice. Okay. Right. Thank you. And we are rank 6, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so just quickly, uh, that acquisition chest I made for the Eldar Power Sword, is that separate from the one that I can then use to try and um, get something from the Mechanicus? Uh, no, go ahead. Okay, cool. I just need to find something that I, that I want quickly. It's just one of those, basically, uh, did they have one on the ship? Uh, and okay. the answer is no. Yeah, grip. Uh, what's, what's the difference again between... Here we go, write the... it down, special crew, 1,000 soldiers with Helgans. What was the, uh... What was the, what was the difference between the normal power sword and the burning blade? Probably because the burning blade is burning. The burning blade sets people on fire. That I is true. Guess next time the other thing would be to get them like stormtrooper carapace i guess mm -hmm. yeah some super cool groups although to be fair like it's still only 7 ap and <laughs> considering some of the weapons they're like eh. yeah it's like still you know they live a little bit longer quite a little bit better depending yeah depending against the which enemy they are fighting mm -hmm. I mean, AP7 isn't bad for, like, a rifle is the thing. Yeah, it's yeah, a... I mean... K K my my mm -hmm. Stormbolter, for instance, was AP4. Um, it's only now AP8 because of special ammunition. Mm -hmm. So, a a AP7 for a rifle is, is legitimately up there. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I believe the session is done here for today. Yep, it Ooh, is. I should try. Oh, wait a minute. In which case, thank you for the session. I'm gonna head out. You may or may not have been sleeping instead of eating. Mm. <laughs> no worries. See you guys around. Yeah, see you. Oh, yeah. I'm probably also gonna be. Going. It was a fun and interesting session. <laughs> do I do, do I try and get an omniscope? <laughs>